Patrix is proud to present the new version of the dashboard tool being introduced in Patricia 5.7. In this video we will briefly look at the purpose of the tool, what has changed and best practice when using it. So where can we find the dashboard tool? To access this, click on the report drop down, reports and then select dashboard. The dashboard window will then appear. What is the dashboard tool? The dashboard gives you a visual representation of key performance indicators in your system. In simple terms, this means that vital metrics are available in an easy to understand chart and text format. Let's say you wanted a pie chart showing your trademark filings per country for the last five years. The dashboard tool provides you with a solution to create this. It is a fully customizable solution which means you can create your own custom reports from scratch. If you don't want to create your own reports, Patricia already includes default dashboard reports that you can make use of. And we will take a look at these later on. So what improvements have been made in this new version of the dashboard tool? First, the steps to create custom reports have been simplified a great deal and now consists of only a few actions. No external tools are used and no additional configuration is needed. The user simply follows the wizard style screens to create their reports. The next area of improvement is the user interface. This new interface has been greatly simplified and streamlined to conform with modern UI design principles. The performance of the dashboard reports has increased significantly as the dashboard tool is now fully embedded into the various Patricia products. The dashboard tool is available on all Patricia platforms. These platforms are the Patricia Client application, the Patricia mobile app, and the Patricia Client portal, also known as PCP. Let's discuss some key points when working with this tool. Report data updates dynamically, which gives you up-to-date information whenever a report is viewed. Also, you have the option to add criteria to a report to affect the results displayed. In my example report, I can change the year criteria here, and when I click Submit, my results will be updated to take that into account. Let's look at the interface itself. The dashboard window is divided into several parts. First, we have the individual dashboards shown here. Each dashboard displays a specific set of reports that relate to that dashboard. In my example, I can click on Granted Patents to see those specific reports. To switch between dashboards, simply click on the dashboard name and the content area will update. Then we have the actual reports inside the dashboards. Each of these reports are known as a dashlet, which is just a container that holds our report. Another important point to note is that you can have multiple report types on a dashboard. In my example, I have a bar report and pie chart on the same dashboard. The report type is defined when you create your report and there are several to choose from. Creating your own report has many benefits, but you might not want to create custom reports. Shipped with the new version of Patricia, is several preset dashboards available out of the box to be used. These default reports cover several areas of importance which we will discuss next. First we have the Priority Application Dashboard which deals with priority based metrics. We have two reports on this dashboard. The first report is a bar chart showing patent priority applications filed per month for a chosen year. The year on display can be changed by selecting a new value from the drop-down shown here. To apply the new year value, click the submit button. The second report shows patent priority applications filed per country in a pie chart format. Take note that the year chosen affects both of these reports. The second dashboard deals with granted patent cases. To access this report, click on the Granted Painted Dashboard name. We have two reports available to us. The first shows the time taken in days 
for the patents to mature to grant. This is calculated from application date up to granter date and is grouped by country showing the top 10. The second report shows patents granted within the last four years. These values are split per country and per year. The third dashboard deals with the number of applications filed across various case types and date periods. We have one report available on this dashboard showing the filing number per country split by application type. You can choose a different case type by selecting a new value from this drop down. You can also set the filing date value in the from and to fields. To apply the new selection, click the submit button. These are the default dashboard reports that will be included and we will be adding new entries as time goes on. So to end, the dashboard tool is invaluable as a solution as it gives you vital metrics that will help you make good business choices. The visual representation of data gives you immediate access to see trends and patterns in your company. Best of all, there are no additional license costs, so take advantage of this great tool. All is included in your maintenance fee, so download the new version of Patricia today.